add it to your list of school supplies. Masks will be going with kids back to school in just under two weeks at CCSD. The district told parents that they are now requiring masks for all grade levels when the fall semester starts. CCSD students are going back to campus in less than two weeks. Turns out masks will be going with them. This parent expressing their anger and frustration and another saying they hope private and charter schools don't follow. This mom of a high schooler has no problem with the new rule. She wore one last year when they finally opened up anyways. And so I'm fine with it. As long as she gets to go to school, she really did the the summer program good with the mask on too. And so I, I don't see any difference. And this CCSD father also with high school students says this. This wasn't what I wanted, but in a way with the numbers going back up, I totally understand. NEA of Southern Nevada teacher union president Vicki Crydell teaches third grade. She says she's in favor of the required masks for all. I had teachers tell me that they're scared to go back to their classroom because that the ventilation systems are so bad at their schools. She worries about families with kids 11 and under who aren't yet authorized to get vaccinated. Plus, she feels this school year, it's not as big of an adjustment. Time going in, some of us feel a little better prepared. I'm used to wearing a mask. Nevada PTA President Rebecca Garcia wants to remind people it's not a permanent rule and that things can always change. We have seen the community numbers go up and down. And when I asked parents if they'd rather do distance education instead, responses were harmonious. I would rather the mask up and go to school. I am a firm believer they learn better in class. The, the personal one-on-one -on -one stuff is, is, I'm a firm believer it does help them. And again, the district says all students and staff will need to wear masks indoors and on school buses, unless a medical issue prohibits their use. I'm Maddie White, Fox 5 News, local Las Vegas.